Well, hey there, Papper people. Last video I did was an unboxing of, right there, the iBreeze. The Wellu slash ResVent slash whatever other name they put on it, iBreeze. Let's take another look at it. Now, what we care about is this guy. SD card's missing. But what I really, really wanted to see is if there is some kind of way we can get data off of this thing. If we can get data off of this machine, then we don't have to be beholden to other people to share our data with us. We have access to our own data, and that's what I want. So two goals with the iBreeze. Actually, at this point, I don't even care if the machine is good. I wanna see if we can get data off of it now. They have their own platform. So I'm gonna take a look at that right now. I only have three nights of data in there, but I wanna see if I can import it. So they have two different things. One, they have their own, uh, well, well uh, 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 let's just take a look. <laughs> Gotta sync up the audio for this baby. <laughs> this is their online portal. This is like their web-based application. So they have another thing, it's called iMatrix. Now if you go into iMatrix, this is their website, it's Wellu. Uh, there's FAQ slash download, and you have this free download for Windows. I don't like recording videos with my Windows computer. That's like my, my work computer. I don't, I don't do anything like that. So I wanted to use my Mac, and there is no Mac option for this. So I'm using their online version, which is this thing called Res Assist. So it was a really, really brief registration process. So I'm just going to import the data now. I already have the SD card in there. It's showing nothing. But if I go into... Upload SD card. Let's see what kind of information we can get. If there's detailed leak data throughout the night, that's really what I'm looking for, as well as if there's information on um, breath by breath information. I want that kind of detailed information. If we can get that, we're solid. So let's take a look see. Like, what, what, are, what are we looking at here? Right there. Right there. That's the data folder. Oh, baby. How about we check the data? No! So, I've used it. I've definitely used it. Let's do this. Come with me. Come with me, my friends. I just wanna show you, show you this stuff first. So if I turn this on, I go into info. It's right there, we have seven hours of use, 6.9. And then if I go down, let's see. What the hell is this? That's weird. Oh, they must have tested it out. Right there, I have almost five hours of use. Then right there, I have a little 5.2 hours of use. And then this, I didn't use it. Yeah, I just must, I must have turned it on for something. Another view, the data card was in, and for the seven days of use, I have three days used with an average usage of 5.6 hours. You can see the leakage. You can see the rear that were tagged. I use this thing. Let's see if it shows up. That's what we're looking for. So let's go see if this is populated yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's quite a bit of information to upload. All right, so it has logs in here of usage. That's promising. My therapy data, that's where it should be. Oh, maybe I need an end day. Okay, let's do a week. So ending right there. Patient setup day is the 9th of February. I used it on the 11th, I believe. This is from the 12th. Why is that? Okay, so there was data in there, now there's not. Okay, this is very frustrating. Anyway, okay, let's do this. Let's assume that this was populated by data, which it's not. You saw I used it. Cards in there, it imported. Usage hours. So this just tells me how many hours I used it. Really unhelpful. Pressure. So it'll show me the range of pressure, what the, it was doing throughout the night, throughout the times, all that. Okay. Not real helpful. Leak. It does have trending leak data throughout the night. So hopefully we can get that up. That could be good because you can see if there's leak spikes and things like that, that stuff's kind of helpful. Events, so they have event flags and when they occurred, but that's it. There's no breath by breath information. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the, uh, their actual website. I'm gonna pull up my Mac or my, I'm gonna pull up my Windows PC. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, import the data there. Just, you know, get the program on my machine. Uh, hopefully that'll that'll get everything there and then we can take a look at it there and see if that works because this is just not real intuitive We're starting the download process i'm getting nowhere so i'm getting very frustrated uh it's not opening up it it downloads there's a setup file on my desktop and it won't open and i don't know why it's a dot rar file so i'm sure i'm doing something wrong 
And I've never really had that kind of difficulty just installing a program. For example, if you go to Oscar, you go to sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar, download it, it's like, boom, you got it up and running like that. This was not that. So I'm gonna take the card right here. We're putting it back in the machine. I'm gonna continue recording data in hopes that I can get this thing figured out. But as of right now, what I could get working, their online version, it's like you can import data, but for some reason it was only displaying one day of use. So if I can, if I can get this figured out, I'll certainly show it, but I'm gonna say this for sure. It is not user-friendly. <laughs> it's definitely not user-friendly. Uh, and the other thing is, based on the charts, graphs, trend windows that we could see there, it didn't look like it was gonna have any kind of like real useful data. To me, useful data is seeing the breath by breath information because they can tag all the events they want, but if I can't see them and verify them, it really has not much use for me. Seeing the leak data is good. I mean, you can get some value out of that to know if you're, if you're leaking and if the, you're having leak spikes and things like that. And if you do something to resolve those, if that goes away and you see a flattening for the overall leak trend, that, that would be a good thing. Uh, but I'm not gonna trust when they just flag an event. I'm not gonna trust it unless I can look in and actually verify it. So that said, makers of ResVent, you guys, talk to the developers of Oscar. Let's hook up and get together. Let's get this thing so it's compatible with Oscar so it can speak to Oscar on a level that Oscar can understand. Because we who use these PAP devices, we sure would like access to our data. It's our data, we would like to access it. And in exchange for this, we'll happily buy your products. That's kind of the way this thing is, is gonna start to work. So I appreciate you guys watching. Any developers, anyone who knows anything about computers, which is anyone more than me, uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong because I'm sure there's a way to get this right. I just can't figure it out and it's frustrating. And I will be back once I, I, I need to put several more nights of the Ibreeze under my belt before I'm real comfortable um, saying much about it. And if it's something that you like and you find helpful, Please subscribe, that way you get notifications every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Why does your mask smell like my feet? Pick up some Mask Bright today. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Matthew Lilly, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, Patricia Espalong, Ray Troutman, Sarvesh Joshi, and Stuart Hetherington, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.